All right, guys, today we are unboxing this new casting Zephyr SFS spinning reel. SFS, this stands for Spin Finesse System. That's right. This is uh, their way of categorizing these finesse spinning reels with shell spools. Casting currently have only one shell spool spinning reel, which is this guy here, sold on Amazon and AliExpress. But if you count uh, reels outside the country, there is another shell spool spinning reel, but we won't be talking about that today. Obviously, this is an unboxing video, so I'll be talking about the specs. I'll be moving this around so you guys can see the angles of this reel. But I'll also be answering some questions. A lot of freaking questions popped up on my Instagram when I first posted the photo of me holding this reel. And the questions were, why so shallow on a spinning reel? I thought that only mattered for bait casting reels. That's definitely a very, very good question, so I'll definitely answer that one. The other one was, why don't you just get a normal size 1K reel and spec fill it? Uh, to be quite honest, I really think shell spools, especially for a 1K, is the norm, but I'll, I'll answer that question later. The last question was, why don't you just get a size 500 reel instead of a 1K if you want to throw light lures? That is a very, very good question, and I would be so happy to answer that one. So just hang on tight. We're going to start off with today on the unboxing portion, which is just, you know, going through this reel and um, talk about the specs. So let's do it. All right, first off, the Zephyr SFS reel only comes in size 1K right now. The body is primarily made of carbon fiber, and that is this part right there. I guess you call it the arm, uh, the body cover, and the rotor, which is right here, okay? And that will keep this thing light. Uh, this whole reel is actually 6.7 ounces. The handle is aluminum. And let's see, yep, you could unscrew this. I guess you could swap to the other side if you guys reel on the right hand, but I am left handy, so I'll leave this here. Uh, EVA foam. Of course, with the, the casking logo on there, engraved. I don't know if it's gonna focus right there, but like most of their, uh, their reels, when they have the EVA foam, you, you see that it's like kind of like laser cut in there or something like that. You can see the spool is aluminum and it's heavily ported, likely to reduce uh, weight. When comparing deep spool and shallow spools, the deeper spool will have less materials uh, because this is a bigger circumference. Obviously, it has more materials here, which is why I think they uh, decided to heavily port the spool so that it could uh, reduce the weight of the entire reel. But I'm not a fan of he heavily ported uh, spinning reels, as you can see. It's pretty exposed in there, and uh, you get some dirt, some sand stuck in there, which kind of sucks. But I don't see myself getting this thing that bad dirtily, <laughs> dirtily, is, if that's even a word. Uh, but like for people who are fishing the surf, definitely, you know, it's something you don't want, uh, especially if you drop your reel, it's pretty much done until you clean it. So before I move on, just a quick thing I want to mention, they actually have a non-SFS version of the Zephyr lineup, spinning reels. And uh, there is a size 1K, that thing right there is seven ounces, uh, has uh, of course a deeper spool, uh, it doesn't have that much ports. The difference is the body, the body is mainly a graphite versus this is carbon fiber. And that thing is a uh, seven ounce, so it's not much of a difference in the weight but definitely you see the difference in the spool circumference, how shallow versus how deep it is. You notice the ridges right here onto the spool itself. This allows the reel, come on, focus right on it, allow the, uh, the reel to be braid friendly. So you no more backing, you just you know, spool on your braid and there you go. Pretty cool, eh? Before we jump into the heavy specs, I'm gonna move this around just uh, one more time. You see there's just so much orange and black on this. It's really, really like the BFS reel. Very, very beautiful. I wish I have gotten the uh, spinning rod version of the Zephyr because they do have spinning uh, rods, but it's only sold in the AliExpress right now. It would match up really, really well with this rod. Maybe I'll try something else different. Maybe the Daiwa Presso. I don't know, we'll see. But what do you guys think? Which rod would uh, you guys pair with this sexy new Zephyr SFS reel. All right, so why don't we just jump into the specs. You can see it on top of the reel. Most reels, they have like specs right there. Oh, by the way, this cap right here is plastic. But anyway, uh, this reel here, gear ratio is 5.2 to one, and uh, it has an average of 24.3 inch per turn. So it's not too bad, not too shabby. The drag is rated up to 10 pounds, which is um, probably more than you need for spinning reels. Uh, the line capacity for four pound mono could hold 115 yards. As you can see, that's way more than enough when you guys are casting ultra light lures. For six pounds, it could hold 75 yards. 
so yeah, that's that's still a lot, which I won't be really using a uh, six pound test line for this reel. Definitely it's four pounds mono, or I would probably put on braid because braid is so much thinner. Which that said, let's talk about the braid for a second. For capacity for your typical braid, eight pound could hold 218 yards. Isn't that crazy? So uh, 10 pound, 142 and 15 pounds, around uh, 100 yards. That, <laughs> dude, that is way more than enough for a spinning reel. So guys, I went through the specs of this reel. Now let's jump into those questions. The first question was, so why the shallow spool? I thought it only mattered for bait casting reels for finesse lures. For sure, ultralight bait casting reels, AKA BFS reel will require light and shallow spools for casting performance, especially for those lighter lures. But we won't be talking about that today because we are focusing on shallow spool spinning reels. So we won't get into the mechanics of that. So shallow spools on spinning reel doesn't really give any performance gains when comparing say two size 1K reels, one with a uh, shallow spool versus a deep spool. It doesn't give any performance gains. However, having a shallow spool on a spinning reel allows you to maintain your line capacity better, which means you will be maximizing your casting distance the majority of the time. So what did I mean by maximize casting distance? Well, let me further explain how a spinning reel actually works. Okay, so when you have line on here, right? Your line spirals off. Your spool. The best way to throw ultralight lures, you gotta have close to max capacity as possible because your circumference of the line dictates how far you actually cast out. If you're close to max capacity, when you cast your line out, that spiral that comes off your spool, that is actually a very wide spiral. However, if you have a deep spool and you have, let's say, 50% line, you'll notice that when it's spiraling off, your spirals are so much smaller especially right off here, and it's actually rubbing off the rim of your reel, and that will reduce your casting distance. Especially for those light lures, because first and foremost, light lures don't even have enough weight to generate force during your casting, even if you use a longer rod. So with that said, having a shallow spool will ensure that one will change the line when needed without discarding too much unused line. So the next question was about why don't we just use a normal size 1K reel and just backfill it with some line? Well, that's a great question. You could technically do that. But why? I truly think it's a waste of money if you were to backfill a deep spool. But if you have old line, you could definitely do it. I've done that for many, many years. But I really truly think that the norm should be here. Okay, it should be here because you don't need a deep spool for a 1K reel. But let me give you some tip if you guys are into just backfilling your uh, deep 1K reel. And those are one, first and foremost, you wanna use thin line. If you use too thick of a line, when you connect your, um, your backfill to your main line, you're gonna create a big knot and that's terrible, okay, that's terrible. Uh, you could definitely use like a FG knot or something like that to minimize uh, the, 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 the thickness of the knot, but you definitely, definitely should use some thin line. The next thing is you guys could put you're not close to the bottom as possible or the top as possible so that it does not impede in the line uh, spiraling off your spool. The better question is how much backing do you guys actually need? And that's something that you guys have to figure out because Jimbo has never figured that one out, which is why I prefer to have a shallow spool spinning a reel. You'll realize exactly when you're running out of line and when you need to change it and you won't be discarding excess line. So definitely go with the shallow spool spinning reel for finesse fishing. So now we are at the last question. Why don't you just get a size 500 reel instead of a 1K reel for ultralight fishing? That is a very, very good question. Because we are throwing light lures, I want to be able to have the line dispense as much as possible during each cast. With a size 500 reel, the circumference is definitely gonna be a lot smaller than a size 1000. So getting a size 500 reel, which means that the line's gonna be spiraling off a lot less than a size 1000, because as you can see, this is definitely gonna be a lot bigger than a size 500. So when you throw that super, super light lure, you're not gonna get as much distance compared from a size 500 to a size 1000, which is why I wanted size 1000. Well, that is it for all the questions. Let's wrap up today's unboxing video with my opinion and what we'll be doing for my next video. So what can I say about this reel itself? I wish that this reel could be a tad bit shallower. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind 
four pound model is at 75 yards because 75 yards, you multiply that by three feet. That's, that's a lot. And I have never casted anything light that far anyway, right? So uh, yep, it could be just a little bit shallower, especially for uh, folks who like to throw braided line. You could definitely use a shallower spool. You think about it, most of the American line at four pound test line is not true four pound test line. That thing is more closer to, let's say six pound test line. If you look at the line diameter, true four pound test line is more like a two pound test line. So true four pound test line is approximately 0.14 millimeters, whereas the US is like 0.16. So imagine having that true four pound test line. We mentioned earlier that four pound test line here could hold 115 yards. Imagine using true four pound test line that will probably like 150 yards. That's, that's just way too much, man. Way too much. Once again, I don't like this heavily ported spool here because I think that it's gonna get the, the real dirty, but you know what, who knows? I'll be fishing this in the near future, so uh, I guess perhaps after a season and a half, I might come back to do a review and see how dirty this reel uh, end up to be. But you know, I definitely would be scared dropping this into anything that's uh, very sandy and mucky. So I don't think I'll be doing a cast testing video uh, with this reel. I'm just gonna go out and fish with it because I don't really have a perfect ultralight spinning rod right now. I do have a few that's uh, laying in the garage, but nothing, nothing crazy. So if you guys have a recommendation on a spinning rod to throw, let's say things down to, I don't know, 164th ounce or 132nd ounce, leave me a comment below and uh, I might just buy it, who knows? But let me tell you exactly what I'm gonna do next with this. I am gonna fill this thing up with some braided line. I'm gonna likely use some leader materials. I don't know what kind of leader materials uh, right now, but I do know what line I'll be using. So let me show you guys right now. I got the two new Cast King, the Cast Pro 8X finesse line and 13X finesse line. Okay, these are some thin stuff, very, very thin. They use uh, pure ultra high molecular PE line. Of course, this is a uh, eight strands and this is 13 strand. The 13 strand will be uh, a little bit thicker than the eight strand. I wish I've gotten them both at six pounds, which is their lightest uh, available. But for the 13 strands, it was sold out like right off the bat when they uh, announced uh, the release. So I got the eight pound and the six pound here for the eight X. Both of them in chartreuse, which is really, really nice. It's gonna pop really, really well onto this spool right here. Look at that. But let me uh, grab the box. Where's the box? Here we go. Here's the two box. The left is, you know, let's swap sides. The left right here, you can see the line diameter for the six pound test line is 0.1. So it's super thin. And then for here, the Cast Pro 13 is 0.14. So that is pretty much a um, true uh, four pound test line. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, I have 130 yards here. So I am gonna fill this guy in first. Plus it's a thinner one. So I wanna put this guy on here and go ahead and utilize that thin line. But this is really cool, it's so thin. Let me, let me show you guys this. I can't even get this out because it's so slippery. Yes, that is very, very slippery. It remind me, reminds me of that nano fill, but I don't think it's, a, it's not nano fill. Let me just get this out for a second. So here we go, let's take a look at that. Can you guys even see this? You guys probably can't see it. <laughs> but let me wrap it a few times around my finger and see how it looks like. Will it focus? Yeah, super thin. That is some thin stuff. So yeah, it'll be very, very exciting to be throwing this very soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing video. If you guys want to check out more details, photos about this reel or the lines, check out the description below as I have left links to where you guys can purchase these products. The reel, I got it during their anniversary, so I actually got a great deal on Amazon. So if you guys are into deals, make sure you guys uh, subscribe to their mailing list and they'll be shooting out to you guys uh, when things are on sale, so, so that's pretty cool. Or you guys can check out uh, my community tab. If you guys are not subscribing and have your notification bell turned on, make sure you guys do so, because whenever I get some deals from Casking or any of the uh, products that I use, I do throw it in my community tab. Spring is here, the fish don't wait. Get your tackle ready for this hot season. This season just started, so get your stuff ASAP.